Hello everybody, Rado King here, welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Today we're going to be doing the whole world tour for the GT Duo. I, I guess this is the beginning of the world tour, I guess I would say. We're going to go into the Metal Cooler Core fight with our boys GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. They're full of all 10 links. Uh, they don't have equips right as of yet. I am still, we're, oh, I guess everybody is still waiting for the 8th year anniversary event. I did put out a video stating that everybody, I guess if you have EX skill orbs that you guys can be able to save for later, then by all means you can use those, but we're going to be using no skill orbs on these guys just yet until the 8th year anniversary event comes through and we can be able to get our sweet 8th year anniversary equipment. Unfortunately, you know, I've been destroyed on these banners there's no other way to describe the shaft that i've been getting so let's go ahead and check these guys out on a showcase right here um uh, i guess we get them on the first slot right there i guess if they are the friend they are rainbowed as well so i guess we won't be able to see an accurate showing but it is our boys right there so pretty good uh we're gonna go here we're gonna do this again this fight tends to be very very difficult so uh, at any cir other circumstances you know you can get clipped by medical core even at the beginning of the fight because he can in, he can lower defense immensely so i wouldn't be surprised if we get super right at the first slot because oh well we didn't uh, this metal cooler is very very difficult uh, on very certain scenarios here and there, so I'm gonna see how these guys can Can do on um, this type of scenario of a team that I kind of built I kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit, you know, brought God Goku into the mix I uh, haven't used God Goku in a while, hence his uh, OST playing right now um, So yeah, the GT Duo, I believe they're going to be looking pretty, pretty good here. Even if we get to the standby on the uh, on the physical Metal Cooler Core uh, fight, it's going to be looking pretty nice. Not only we're getting some support, we possibly might get may get them linked up with the other friend right there. Okay, so we didn't get the addition. We got the additional normal, but now we get the guaranteed super right there. I got this this combination right here between. The 8 year anniversary units, LR Bulma. Like, how LR Bulma just makes every team just so good. And she, uh, although she's not in, like in the greatest of like categories, she is on the 8th year anniversary, the largest team because of the Power of Wishes category. That is absolutely nuts. How much will this do? Uh, <laughs> she, she's crazy. She's crazy, man. Right? What can I tell you? Oh, what can I say? Um, I'm gonna dip these guys over to the next uh, rotation there. Again, we do want to get them together for the standby. Again, they link up pretty well together uh, after they switch into the standby. I guess they, they do miss some links because they, we get Super Saiyan active, all those other links and everything like that. So, uh, we'll do this right here. Piccolo gets key whenever he gets hit. So... He's gonna provide the, hopefully, the additional key to uh, our GT duo at the end there, so. Yeah, again, the, the capabilities of the GT duo are just absolutely, yeah, these guys can go crazy. <laughs> Vegeta with his support, uh, and the GT duo's capability of doing even triple or quadruple super attacks, it, it's gonna be very, very vital. And this team right here, like, Again, I've been hearing, you know, that maybe, you know, the, the crown of being the top best unit in the game of LR Vegeta and Trunks is just being slipped away by some other units coming in. And it's fine, you know, that, that crown lasted for a long time. Uh, but they're still useful. They're still really useful uh, units right here that we can be able to get them in this team because they're on, on their team, their Battle of Fate team. Uh, but yeah, the the beauty of this unit, again, just the capabilities of him receiving key, reducing damage received for super attack that they do. Uh, yeah, triple super turn right there. Uh, we'd love to see that. And the, the one of the main reasons I want to go back into the banner and just keep on pulling dupes is that I want to get more copies, man. I also want to open that gold slot 
for the equipment just so I can be able to to get it but I guess I have to save it because there's no way that I can be able to you know try continuously summon on this banner and just keep getting shafted man it's just not good all right so what links are we getting we're getting GT fierce battle prepare for battle legendary power uh, I want to put God Goku on the first line here. We're getting Fierce Battle and Prepare for Battle, of course. You know, Warrior Gods, Godly Power, those are links that you're not going to be able to link up with, especially well with uh, Super Saiyan 4 team. I guess we can get them. Nah, these guys don't have Warrior Gods, the Vegeta and Trunks. Um, again, it's a good tank. It, there's so many options. There's a lot of variety with this team. You know, the Power of Wishes and the Battle of Fate combination here. And of course, again, we're providing that 50%, uh, that 30 per, extra 30% for characters in the final trump card or the Shadow Dragon Star category. Uh, which again, for those units who are in the, the GT side of things, they can be able to link up pretty well with the GT duo right now. Um, yeah, there, there are multiple options here. There's the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who's on JP right now. He, they, it, it's on their team, the 200% leader skill team. Actually, no, because Super Saiyan 4 Goku, is he final trump card? He's not. He's not on final trump card. So he will not have a 200% because he, I mean, what is it? So they're 200% power wishes or battle of fate, and then the 30% to final trump card is Shadow Dragon Saga. Because this is a Super Saiyan 4 from the baby saga. We are not going to have him on the exact, you know, if the GT duo were leading GT heroes on that 30%, ex uh, instead of, uh, I guess, Shadow Dragons, just the full GT heroes, just so covering the whole spectrum of things. That would have been actually really, really good for the GT go uh, for that GT Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But either way, yeah, he's going to be phenomenal. Once he comes down over here to global, that's gonna be very, very good. Very, very nice. Another thing that when I when I made this the team composition, I believe it's just a little bit overkill. <laughs> you guys think this is a, a tiny, a, a wincy bit overkill? I don't know. Now I'm gonna dip a Jaden Trunks. How's the defense? 432k defense. It's, 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 see, like, Bulma supporting the, this whole rotation, man. It's just <laughs> astonishingly good. Um, for us to be able to get into the standby, though, of course we need to do standby for five turns, and so this can only be activated when HP is 50% or less. Or, starting from the fourth turn from the start of the turn, if the character receives an attack four more times in battle, which I don't know if I, if we've been able to receive that, because I've not been looking at this at all. I mean, we, we might be under 50% HP now that Bolma took all of that. Uh, very surprising, though. Uh, but, you know, we can be able to get the, the, the standby, we can be able to get those two linked up together, which again, um, looking at the Doka info page, they link up pretty decently with each other. They they get six links active. Uh, the only thing that they don't get is Super Saiyan, because GT Vegeta is going to go into Super Saiyan uh, once we do the standby. Uh, but there's a lot of links in there, you know, same word, race, experience, fighters, GT, prepare for battle, fuse, battle, legendary power, they can link up together pretty, pretty nicely, so. Uh, do you seal or do you lock me? Okay, you seal me. That's, that's okay. Uh, we can be able to do the standby. So, if we, actually, do I wave one? Man, I would have loved if I had Bulma on the last lock. That would have been better. Uh, what do we do? Do we do it now? One of the GT duos is sealed, so... Gonna have to protect one of them. Uh, actually, this will be a, a pretty impressive turn if we... I guess we pull the standby in here, so... Let's... let's... let's do the standby. Ah, my audio 
video got cut up for a second there. God dang it. That sucks. Uh, Alright. So now we get the extra support from the on the Vegeta side of things. Uh, we might get the KO. Again, we're gonna try to do the most amount of damage in here. Man, no, no six six orbs, man. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna try to do the most amount of damage in here and then trigger the, the spirit bomb. Oh, or at a pool of quirk and just super on the first slot and see how we do there. <laughs> but I guess, again, we wanna be able to try to punish this man as much as possible because, again, his HP is pretty dang high. Now we can be able to see his true attack stats because, uh, I believe after he supers, he greatly raises his attack, I believe, on his uh, on his core status. So we can possibly be able to see some pretty pretty hardcore damage in here. But I have triple super right there by the GT duo. This is what this is how they go off basically. They didn't, they're not linking together, unfortunately, because I do want to see if we can be able to get the uh, the standby. I guess I would have put God Goku on the first slot, man. I feel like that was a lit. That, that was my bad. I, why did I do that? <laughs> the rotation that I wanted to get, I didn't get it. And I said I was going to try to get it. Man, I, I'm a bad YouTuber. <laughs> oh, man. I, yeah, I, I, the only thing, I, I got afraid because of the, the stamp, the, the seal that we got. So, oh, that's perfect. All right. Let's see this. Dude, I'm never going to see this KO screen. <laughs> let me have it once, man. They don't crit. Unfortunate. I mean, it was my unit. So my, my unit, I only... He only has the five crit, man. Why the... At least give me that. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, GG, dude. This was completely much the... This was, this was the fight. This is it. Uh, I guess we want to... We got a Gogeta. We, we can get Gogeta in here. Uh, if, if we die because of this, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the, 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 the benefit of you having dupes on this guy, or, you know, just I, at least having him 79% and getting the skill orbs that you're going to get on the 18th anniversary event, it's going to make him so much better. It's going to make him look so much better as well. So you can be able to maybe, you know, try to finish out the enemy, if in any case we can. But, uh, man, I, if we die here, that's, I'm going to be very, very upset. <laughs> uh, we got this far, man. Gogeta, don't let me down. Come on, Gogeta. Oh, we got the notification right there. Give me an additional. Give me another one. Oh, come on. You only gave me one. Uh, well, take a little bit. Okay. We, we may have nullified the super attack, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, the GT Duo team, you know, GT Duo rocking their their standby pretty nice. And actually, did, is this a... Is this not no idle run? <laughs> yeah, dude, this team is so, so good. It's so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> no item run right there. Perfect. Um, yeah, this, this is an overkill kind of team. You can just go pretty, you just be selective. You got a lot of offensive units in here. Gago who can dodge, uh, ultimate piccolo or orange piccolo. Can be able to provide key to the allies and be able to stack his defense upon getting hit. Plus he, I believe that there was a lot of bonus master in the Cyber category ally. He's able to use his active score, like his intro animation. So he has the damage reduction. Bulma, everybody knows about how busted and broken Bulma is. Uh, Vegeta and Trunks, you know, they still hold the crown. They, they still have it. They, they can still be pretty defensive right there. And, of course, the GT Duo and the GT Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, 
they revitalized them on the 70th anniversary. I, I do believe that they were uh, they were underrated for a slight like months until they fixed up the patch where Broly is not able to you know dodge the, or the count or trigger the counter if any counter units you may bring that counted as a dodge so they fixed that up so Vegeta, uh, Gogeta got a pretty high power buff I guess and of course we get the Super Saiyan 4 Goku in December which again buffs up the, Super, the GT Super Saiyan 4 uh, as well so yeah that's gonna be it for this uh, video guys I appreciate you guys stopping by watching all this way in the video thank you guys so much for watching how did you guys clear uh, this Metal Cooler Core fight with your GT Duo setup. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure you guys get, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. We're still on the road to 1,000 members of the community, so we're still growing. We're still going strong. And keep an eye out. Hopefully later this week or in the following week when part two comes in, we're going to throw in the collapse that you guys have been waiting for. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure you guys keep, uh, keep on keeping on. Make sure you guys drink plenty of water. Tell somebody you love them, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.